It's finally time to repeal my state's prevailing wage law. They'll be working for peanuts. <laughs> Lyuna, man. That's right. In a world where workers' rights are under attack, one man has the power to stop reckless corporations and the rat bastard politicians who take their money. You've signed your last anti-worker law, Governor. Prepare to resign. No! One man? Really? I don't think so. No superheroes are going to swoop in and save the day. It's up to us to fend off the corporate scrooges and greedy politicians who want to keep wages low. We've been the heroes of our own story for 120 years. It all started out of dire necessity when laborers worked 14 hour days, six days a week, in terrible conditions. With no safety measures, deaths were common on the job. Workers were considered disposable. One person alone couldn't take down these powerful bosses. So laborers stood together and found power and solidarity. They fought for fair wages, benefits, the 40-hour work week, and safe working conditions. They changed what it means to be a laborer. Could one person do that? No way. And now the mantle is passed to us. The minute a project is announced, the fight is on. We're going up against a great evil. Greedy profiteers who want to rip us off, just like they did way back when. We fight back when we speak out in City Hall and convince our local government to hire responsible contractors to build our schools and hospitals. We fight back when we vote for pro-labor candidates and when we advocate for laws that make it easier to join a union. We fight back when we bring new people into the movement. When politicians, developers, and contractors conspire to rip off American workers, we organize. Just like our forebears who built this union in 1903. We're kicking butt and taking names all over North America because we are our own protectors. And when we stand together, we have the power to change the world. Get involved with your local union today.